In case you missed it, Ford just revealed their F-150 Raptor that is based on the totally redesigned F-150 we shared with you a few months ago. And while that video reveal left many with a ton of questions, <laughs> I do have some info that hopefully will answer a few of them. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a brief look at the totally redesigned 2021 Ford F-150 Raptor. So, as I stated before, the F-150 had a lot of significant features and updates added to it and it seems as though this Raptor will get quite a few of those. But first, let's address what makes an F-150 a Raptor. It's suspension. And while it was no off-road slouch before, it seems as though Ford found a few new tricks up its sleeves. For starters, you'll find a 5-link rear suspension in back with extra long trailing arms, a panhard rod, and 24-inch coil springs that Ford states are longest in class. Fox also makes a return with their next generation live valve internal bypass shocks. They're 3.1 inches in diameter and can handle up to 1,000 pounds of damping per corner. Oh, and they can automatically adjust their damping rates at each corner 500 times per second. There will be three different 17-inch wheel choices, two with beadlock capability, and 35-inch or 37-inch BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2 tires will be available for the first time too. The 35-inchers will provide 12 inches of ground clearance with an approach angle of 31 degrees, departure angle of 23.9 degrees, and a breakover angle of 22.7 degrees. Opt for the big boys and you get a 33.1 degree approach angle, 24.9 degree departure angle, and 24.4 degrees of breakover angle. Oh yeah, you also get an insane 13.1 inches of ground clearance on a production truck. Besides the huge wheels, you won't be able to miss the power dome hood and blacked out grille headlights and taillights. Of course it'll have steel bumpers, and as of launch, the Raptor will be configured as a Super Crew with a 145 inch wheelbase. The frame will be made of fully boxed high strength steel with an aluminum alloy and composite body. Ford's third generation twin turbo 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 high output engine will power this beast, but power ratings haven't been released as of this video. They did tell us that we'll have a 10.5 to 1 compression ratio, a new cooling system, and a range of up to 500 miles from its 36 gallon tank. That averages out to a little less than 14 miles per gallon if you were wondering. An upgraded version of Ford's 10-speed auto will be used and standard electronic locking front and rear differentials. Plus, there's an available Torsen front limited slip differential all of which are fitted with 410 final drive ratios. Maximum payload has been increased by 200 pounds to 1400 pounds, and max towing saw the same increase to 8200 pounds. Something I'm curious about is the new 3 inch equal length exhaust system with active valves. We at Auto Academics haven't been fans of the EcoBoost exhaust note in the past, and this one supposedly improves sound quality. Here's a soundbite that Ford shared, and you can let us know what you think in the comments section below. The layout of the cockpit is what we've seen on the standard F-150, just with the Raptor's usual flair. You get customizable 12 inch screens for the dash and infotainment, and the usual toggle switches and cameras for auxiliary lights and 360 views. The terrain management system returns, and there's a trail control that works like an off-road cruise control. Trail 1 pedal drive is standard, and allows you to control throttle and braking with just one pedal. I never got used to that feature on hybrids, so we'll see if I get used to it on this. Sync 4 with Alexa is standard, and so is wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. This Raptor can handle over-the-air updates, and Ford even teased the possibility of using it to download trail maps in the future. 
Finally, Recaro bucket seats, an 18 speaker B&O Unleashed sound system by Bang & Olufsen, and the built-in power generator called Pro Power On Board can be added from the options list. There's no pricing yet for this truck, but I don't think that matters because if it's anything like last gen, it'll sell no matter what. It goes on sale later this summer, and Ford has even teased what we assume to be an even higher performance Raptor R version coming next year. So let us know what you think about that exhaust or the truck in general in the comments section below. As always, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching. Oh.